communities, specifically the operating system kind. Windows, OS 10, and Linux are the topics I'll be hitting on and breaking down the generic misconceptions and what these communities need to do to fix these misconceptions. First off, I'll start with Linux. I run Linux. I run Windows and OS X. So I'm speaking as a user of each one of these. Linux, you guys need to really, really need to have that vocal minority shut the hell up. Because, quite frankly, that's what ruins my experience with Linux. Um, the only place I've found that's remotely civilized for the most part is the Ubuntu forums. There's some trolling, there's some other crap that goes on in that, but not nearly as bad as something like the DB mailing list or some of the other forums that are available. You know, something like some of the uh, Slackware, Fedora, and the Gen 2 forums. They, they can get pretty rough, especially if you're a new user. Yeah, that turns a lot of people off. Uh, Windows. Windows users. You guys are like, here's your box, you know, that you guys have. You guys stay in that box. You really don't like venturing outside of it. Open the doors a little. You know, let some fresh air in. <laughs> um, it, it, you guys are interesting because you guys see it as like a Microsoft way only. Um, you know, people talk about Linux or OS X and, you know, you guys end up talking about stuff that you tried doing with like Linux like four years ago. Well, no shit, it's going to be different. It's a different time, you know, just a thought. You know, is Windows the same from XP to Vista? No. Well, maybe you might want to try a different update. And it's the same with applications. You guys are the same way. If it's not Microsoft label, if it's not, you know, something you use, you bash it. If that's not being productive, that's not being helpful. You're just shooting your own community in the foot. Don't learn to live outside of your box. OS 10, OS 10 is kind of a little bit, it's a mishmash, kind of. It's really kind of hard to pin down one particular issue that OS 10 really, really needs to fix. Um, they have the issue of the vocal minority speaking for the majority, because I've met a lot of nice OS 10 users. Uh, the OS 10 users tend to be a lot more tech savvy than a you know, Windows user because Windows users kind of live inside their box. Um, not quite as tech savvy as the Linux users, just based on you know the way things are done. Um, and OS 10, they. Uh, The biggest issue is probably the community in general. Um, don't be brainwashed. That's my, I know that's simple and unrefined, but just because it's Apple, you guys, you know, it's Apple, 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 Apple. And, you know, don't be brainwashed by Apple. You know, if you love OS X, cool. You know, I like OS X. I mean, I run on my iBook all the time. I love OS X. Don't get me wrong, there are things wrong with OS X. I don't know about Snow Leopard because I don't have it. But in Leopard, I see plenty wrong with the actual operating system. So, it's not all peachy and sun roses in OS X. Just because it's Apple does not mean it's the only way to do things. I know Apple supports some of the open source stuff. That's cool. I like Apple for that. I like their... Uh, Grand Central that they release is open source. There's a bunch of stuff they've done for open source that I love. But they also do a lot of stuff that kind of like is redundantly retarded. So how do you fix that? Again, it's kind of like the Windows users. Look outside your box. Look outside see what might work for you if you don't want to pay a couple hundred bucks for a program. You might find a free application instead, you know, or whatever. Just, these are things every community needs to fix, and until they do, it's, you know, people like me are just like, what is the point? Why do you guys argue over this crap? It's retarded. If it works, that's cool. Use what works for you. 
you know, I am a tech enthusiast. I don't claim to be an expert in this stuff. But the fact of the matter is, these debates after a while are just like, why? What is so good about what that does? What I can do, essentially, it might not be the exact same way or done the same way, but I can do what I need to on this piece of hardware or software or whatever. It gets a little old for hearing. Be it Mac versus PC, Linux versus Mac, Mac versus Linux, you know, Linux versus, oh, you know, Windows and all these other ones. It's old. It's treaded material. In order for these communities to go anywhere, fix them. Because the communities now are the ones holding back technology. Because the communities are the ones that will drive innovation forward on these companies. Because we can vote with our wallet by using free and open source applications. It might be free in this beer. It might not be fully featured or as featured as some. But if you feel a company is hitting a wall, the best way is not to support the company. But that's my point. And the only way we can do that is with communities thinking for themselves. And outside of a brainwashing, outside of their box, and outside of their own asses.